Hi guys, welcome to Mom and with Molly. Tonight we are doing a special menu over at the Blue Bayou for reserved seating for the Fantasmic show that is happening tonight. It is $89 per adult and about $35 per kid. It comes with a specialized souvenir. I'm not sure what that is, but come with us to find out. Hi guys, we made it inside the Blue Bayou and I have the Fantasmic special menu in front of us. It looks really great. You get a basket of bread, an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert. Plus you can also purchase alcoholic beverages. And then on the back side are some really great options for your kids. It is $35 for the kids menu. And they also get a starter, an entree, and a dessert. So let's see what we pick. This is our bread starter. The bread is nice and warm and thick, and it comes with a jelly and salted butter. First thing, our drinks have arrived. These are the drinks that we ordered. You do get a non-alcoholic drink with your package, and then you can choose to order an alcoholic beverage. So this is a lovely iced tea with an added glow cube that my friend Lacey got. Next, we got a Diet Coke. And then my sister ordered the Hurricane, which was $18 and comes with a fun little orange on her drink. I got the wine pairing, which was $35 and comes with a sparkling wine. And then later we'll come with a Pinot Noir. And it's gonna go really great with the food that we ordered. If you wanna do the wine pairing like I did, it's $35 for two six ounce pours. One is a sparkling wine, one is a Pinot Noir, which is a red wine. And you can do it with the Fantasmic special menu for lunch or dinner. Our starters have arrived and what we've ordered is the heirloom tomato and watermelon salad, which is right here. It has greens, agave crema, pickled watermelon rind, and shallot vinaigrette. I'm gonna try a little bit of that agave crema. It's sweet, it's got a little bit of sweetness to it. Next is the chicken gumbo right here. Uh, tasso ham on dewy sausage and peppers with steamed rice. It has a little bit of heat to it, but not like overpowering. It's just a lot of spice. You can uh, taste the flavor in it. Next is the strawberry and pistachio salad with toasted quinoa, blue cheese, and purple radish with aged balsamic. That balsamic has really good flavoring to it. I think my favorite so far is definitely that gumbo. This is the blackened ribeye and garlic shrimp. It's an extra $10 to so the price that you're already paying on the menu, but it does look amazing. And it's a huge portion for what you're paying. Highly recommend, we think this is gonna be the table favorite. This is the Creole roasted chicken with andouille sausage, roasted shrimp, Creole rice, and Creole sauce. It definitely reminds me of a jambalaya. It's got some good looking flavor to it. I think if I hadn't picked the fish, this is definitely what I would have picked. This is the sustainable market fish and the fish of the day is the striped sea bass. It comes with a habanero slaw and some wild rice with the coconut sauce down below. This is what I ordered. It looks really good and I can't wait to try it. This is the second glass of wine. It's the Pinot Noir. It was up to just about here when it first came. I took a couple sips of it to see how it tasted. It's a very smooth red and it tastes amazing with the fish. Our desserts have finally come and we got all three of the dessert options. So starting with the cutest one in my opinion is the chocolate decadence tart. It is a dark chocolate coffee custard with a chocolate cookie crust topped with an adorable Fantasmic Mickey decoration. Next we have the seasonal sorbet. It is passion fruit and mango and then topped with seasonal berries. And then lastly, the one that I ordered is the creme brulee tart with the vanilla bean creme brulee in a tart shell, also topped with seasonal berries. I have a feeling that my favorite is going to be the chocolate decadence, but I also really love creme brulee, so stay tuned to find out our favorite. 
So now that I've tried all of our desserts, the chocolate tart was pretty good. It mostly tastes like chocolate, doesn't really have a coffee taste to it. The creme brulee tart was definitely a favorite of mine more than I thought so, even though it's one of my favorite desserts. I thought this might beat it because of how cute it was. And then the sorbet that was supposed to be mango, passion fruit, banana, mostly just tasted like banana. However, now that we're at the end of our dessert and our meal, we have gotten the two things that we really came for. And one is this adorable souvenir that they give you. It's actually a drink stir. And when you turn it on, There we go. The little light flashes and it's actually a drink stir. So that's super fun, just like a little firefly. And then we got our special preferred seating for the Fantasmic Show tonight at nine o'clock. It tells you exactly what to do here on the tickets. Go over by the old Haunted Mansion entrance uh, between eight and 8.45 and they'll show you where your seating is. So follow along for the end of the video and I'll show you exactly where that seating is. If you're not already, like and subscribe to Mom and with Molly. I share lots of fun mom content, tips and tricks for theme parks with kids, and more just fun theme park content. So this section right behind you, this is for Rancho Del Sol. Are you ready to the Welcome to the reserved section for the Blue Bayou dining package for the fantastic 9 p.m. show. This is the area that we're in. It's pretty good seating. A standing room for people who did not have dining reservations filled up at 7 15. It's insane, it's very packed. It's also the first day, but take into account that for the next couple weeks it's going to be very busy with people trying to see the show. So make sure that you come and get a spot early so that you can see the show. It's an amazing show.